Yep, um, it's me again. Uh, I'm not done with the harmonics. Uh, there are so many things you can do. Uh, when you feel that you are in control, you can... Uh, the first four strings are fairly easy. The B string is very, very, very hard to do it, but, but you can really give it a go because it's there. You know, I get some frustrated emails and uh, very often at my uh, freak guitar camp, which is a camp I'm doing every year in Sweden. Uh, I've done it for uh, 15 years in a row. I get very, oh, it's not in my guitar. Can you do it on my Strat? Or do you have some kind of uh, uh, whammy pedal or, or uh, you know, whatever effect in your, uh, your Swedish leg or something like that? Um, but again, harmonics is in every string instrument. And violin players, they use it all the time. I mean, maybe about a third of everything written for the violin is written with uh, the natural uh, overtone series. But guitar players are very lazy. But you can do better. You can be a good player and really work your butt off and sit down and figure out how to do it, okay? So the B string is really, really hard, but I want you to focus on uh, the 17th fret, 16th fret, and in between the 15th and 14th fret, and also on the 14th fret. Um, you have to have a pretty uh, sort of right, uh, I don't know, how should I say, um, like a straight angle with your, your uh, finger, so... <laughs> Uh, it's a bit noisy, uh, but, but you can do it. But again, you, you can't really run around and are you doing out there? And so on. Uh, you have to stand still and look at your instrument. Um, uh, the high E string is, is very hard to, to because you have no uh, sort of neck to rely on. So you got to do like a cheap uh, Chuck Berry lick. If you um, do a hammer on with your right hand on the 22nd uh, fret, if you have, 22 frets and then let go um, you can use the harmonics on the on the high E string but it's kind of hard um, what you can also do with the harmonics is to create some really really nasty sounds um, that sometimes can be useful it's nice if you play a super duper power ballad kind of solo and it's so emotional to all of a sudden go or The only thing I do here is basically combine uh, harmonic with any note and then go crazy with my uh, vibrato bar. And uh, if they're really close, if you say you hit a B on the G strings uh, 16th fret or 9th or uh, 4th, and then you fret a B flat on the E string. All this hair has a life of its own. I am Swedish. Um, so you smack this one and then you fret the B flat. Then you will get a terrible dissonance. And if you pull your vibrato bar up, you will have one note going down. And vice versa, you pull it down, one note will go up. So... And... And then you can combine anything. Here you have F and then F sharp on the E string. Sounds terrible, but I like it. What kind of lesson is this anyway? Um, so, and of course, G. And, uh, then you can combine um, uh, more dissonances by playing, say, G sharp on the fourth fret of the uh, E string and then A on the 5th fret of the A string. Uh, this, of course, is this dissonance. But this could be your Monday morning wake-up call if you combine all these dissonances. It's very useful. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. Do it.